Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. Hello world. My name is Leo and today we are continuing the Spiritfarer file. Where we last left off, we had gone and visited Daria and we well, we got the uh, staffing for Overbrook, and then we visited Daria, and she gave us a look inside of her mind. And it was all full of colors and disappearing platforms and beautiful music and platforms that were, like, disappearing and reappearing in sync with the music. And today, we have a couple of things we want to do. Uh, rice flour being one of them. We need rice flour to try and give uh, better food to Overbrook. Uh, we have another uh, sequence where we can play for Daria. And then I do want to see if I can get a little bit of grinding done. Um, I think I've decided that I want to do these uh, shenanigans. Um, just to see if I can do it. I don't know. So, uh, for the completionist's sake. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, this is the vending machine. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think I do want to do that. And we'll see how long that goes. But anyway, we now have the, what we need to get better food. So let's go ahead and go back to Overbrook. Oh. Does someone want my attention up here? Oh! You! You're that errand person from earlier! Always running around and doing things for others. Listen, you're the one that got me here. Which is great and all, but I have an issue! Listen up, whatever your name is. I didn't end up selling my penthouse. Oh, this is the doctor. Oh, I didn't end up selling my penthouse. The market is quite unstable right now. No, no, no. I don't want you, I don't want you to house it for me. That's not it. My problem's my collection of exotic birds. My birds can't be alone for too long. They get antsy. Plus, some of them have, let's say, special needs. I need you to find some kind of bird babysitter. A bird sitter. Someone who likes wings and beaks, I suppose. Why can't I do it? Well, I'm a rich and busy doctor. I can't leave in the middle of surgery. With my hands all bloody. If I leave to feed my birds, who will clean up my bloody hands when I'm not at the hospital? Do I need to bring an assistant with me at all times? Just because my birds need to be fed every day? I don't think so. That assistant has a life of her own. That assistant has things to do, places to go. Why are you making my assistant do all this extra work? Mm. You need to think of other people for once in your life. So listen, you need to do two things. Mm. First up, you need to buy a special you need to buy specialty treats for my precious birds. Cherries are your best bet. It's probably the only good thing in this world. Mm. Next, and this is tricky, so listen carefully. You need to find someone who is good with birds or lizards or whatever. Someone to be at my house once a day to take care to care for my army of birds. Mm. Another doctor was telling me about a service in Edgeboro Lane. Something, something, Lizard King? Oh boy. I wasn't really listening. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can look into it? I need my birds to be babysat and pampered. Is that too much to ask in these modern times? Well, babysitter for the pet. Oh. Hang on. Find an animal babysitter. Okay, yeah. Apparently a lizard king offers an animal babysitting service. Talk? Mm. Now this is the good stuff. We could definitely do something with these. I'll start working on getting french fries on the menu. Mm. And in a few days, we should have... Muelsi, Muesli and fish fisherman's pie. Oh, I'll even try my hand at a nice vegetable stir fry. Patients have been complaining about the food for a while now. Mm -hmm. Well, at the very least, all these new dishes these new dishes make them stop. 
Oh, I can't wait for Gertrude or Gary to taste these meals. No more, your food tastes like wet socks. Hmm. Or, my granddaughter makes tastier food than this. Well, I better get to it. Hmm. Thanks again. Okay. <clears throat> so, next up, power station. To visit Daria. I did not get any radiant spring from that. So last time it was, it had like post-it notes. I like how there's flowers. Uh, outside this now. Is it up here? Maybe? Maybe it's, let me check down here first. Oh, it's right here. I love this song. This song is so beautiful. One memory is so deeply ingrained, I could never forget it. The day I started hearing the noise, faintly at first, then louder and louder yet. Flip. Plop. Okay, yeah, that is what... There's like a tick-tock noise in the track. Distant drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign that I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the source of the noise. I love this, how all of the, like, platforms, or, like, I guess the lanterns, are, like, in sync. Not, like, yeah, like, um, it's, like, on the offbeats. It's just a really cool effect. In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the droplets all the while paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog. So, in her quest to try to, like, maybe find herself, she got lost. And yelps, and growls, and glimmers. So... So I think, like, what she was describing before about, like, treasures long forgotten, buried in the nests of the beasts, I think those are all the, like, good memories that maybe the antidepressants made her forget. Like, all of those good emotions, she buried them along with the beasts, the depression, um, if that's the correct interpretation. Uh, the, the medication buried all of it. Um... So, maybe when she went and found herself, or like st started her journey of finding herself, maybe she stopped taking her medications? Or maybe they're like, became, there were new triggers that um, her medication couldn't help with? Did I, again, I don't remember if I read, the, read this line or not. And yelps and growls and glimmers. Whoa. <laughs> this, again, this is... I, I love this. This is so creative. And, like, so fascinating compared to everything else. Well, like, everything else has still been good, but, like, comparatively, this is such mu a much more, like... Like, it feels much more creative and artistic. 
From this period, there is not much to remember. A vagrancy that lasted an eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean. So, either maybe like... Uh... Trauma, like she, her mind is blocking memories of trauma, or uh, she was just so on depressants, maybe even alcohol, uh, during that time. Picked to the bone, it's as though they never existed, as if fallen through cracks in time. Still, they were. The mud and scratches bear witness. I hope that, like, I know this in particular is dealing with a lot of sensitive issues. Like, uh, mental illness and stuff like that is not a topic to be taken lightly. And so when I'm trying to do my interpretations, I am trying to do it as, like, um, I want to treat th these topics with respect, and I hope that my interpretations of what she is saying are not, like, off-base or anything like that. The waters are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water is clearer than it ever has been, has ever been. The plip-plopping has stopped, and so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully, delicately. So she's trying to, like, explore her feelings or memories but trying to do that all at once will be overwhelming and might cause a relapse yeah lest I disturb the silt that has through the aeons set into a peaceful but fragile blanket the great wave I got four springs. And the power station's been repainted. Okay. Well, we can buy the stuff from the vending machine now. And I wonder if that will give us a new quest. So, four out of four. It looks like a bag of mixed spices. Got it. Thank you. So now if I go into my quests, is there a new one? The Last Supper. Play Daria's song somewhere in the cafeteria at Overbrook. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Maybe we'll end up fully finishing Daria's story today. Which, as much as I would like to spread it out, I think, like, g the grind and stuff like that, um, I think it's be I think it's better to do this all at once rather than, like, intersperse it between, like, grinding periods. So these flowers definitely weren't here before. I don't think. And I'm noticing... Okay, so... Has the music become faster? I don't think it has. Maybe... The beat, the plip-plop, feels constant? No, it's not faster. It... I couldn't tell because the, um, 
the instrument going like um, but the rhythm, the beat, and like these um, syncop that's the word I was looking for earlier, syncopated the syncopated lanterns um, those feel constant but the visuals are becoming much more intricate like there's more than just platforms here this wreck lies hidden among the reefs and the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices happy and sad, playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship, live a great many deal of faceless shades. Mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. Oh, forgot that was a thing. Oh, I can stand on these. Hang on, gotta wait. Yeah, okay. This. Hmm. All right. Okay, got it. Oh, I think I might have to like jump immediately. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's cool. One of these shades escapes me. It is protoform, prote, protiform, protoform, and atonal, atonal. So it goes against the music. Insubstantial. It has a ghastly quality that I cannot easily understand, and it seems to actively resist focus. It takes some convincing for me to accept it for what it is. An echo of a previous self, remnants undevoured by the depths, unaware of them even. So, herself before she experienced depression or whatever trauma that she had faced. Maybe I was right in the previous episode. Maybe. Jackie did abuse her, and that is the trauma that uh, made her become this way. A treasure of, incommen of incommensurable value. I meet it with cautious curiosity. Ah, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is like the like feeling lost and scattered. This is such a good game, like gameplay representation, visual representation. Like, yeah, this is much more. Again, like I said before with what I said with Alice, where, like, more than just dialogue, this is so... This is really cool. And suddenly, I'm filled with sadness. For I realize, or remember, one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. The tableau before me exudes a chaotic happiness. A family brought together by conflicts and laughter. So she, yeah, it's looking back on the times where she was happy and like not worrying as much about 
Uh, oh my. <laughs> um, like those memories are painful for her, looking back at them. Can I make this? Oh, okay, cool. Oh. So now they're like blocking me. Oh my god. That didn't come out where I thought it was going to come out. I, hang on. Oh, I need to jump. Okay. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I need this platform. And then I need this. And then I need this over here. Okay. No, wait. Wrong way. Yep, right here. Th this is... Like... I oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is exercising my brain in such a fun way. There we go. If at any point some all-powerful painter were to judge the tableau and remove the ghastly lone shade from it, nothing of the composition would be affected, unnoticed and untouched. So does that mean if someone were to remove So the ghastly, the ghastly shade, the uh, something holding her back. Are you? Would you like some a peach? That's so interesting that she has like a vine that grows out of the flower on her back, and that's what she hangs herself from. A strong grip, a warm heart. Has a aw feels cared for. Has a nice house. Was recently hugged. Has eaten a meal she likes. That's really nice that she like she sees her tower that way now as a nice house. So. I think she's saying that like herself I think yeah she's I think she's finally acknowledging that her self like her that she she's still there like removing the ghastly stuff would leave the composition untouched and the ghastly stuff wouldn't be noticed like I think that's what she's saying six out of two oh six out of six there we go these last two items have not been discovered. These animal crackers are shaped like animals. Animals eating animals, how odd. I wonder if there's gonna be some kind of relapse. Thank you. If those last two items are unavailable. Oh, it's right here. Rooms by the sea. All right, let's uh, let's do it. After an eternity of drifting, this place took me in. You would not have recognized me. Sunburned. Cracked, bursting at the seams. A mind bloated with the muddy thoughts of the self and of the other. Useless detritus brought, brought back from the depths. So her thoughts, like, of herself and of, like, she began separating the... Well, maybe she had already separated the two. And it had, like... It consumed her. Oh my god. Huh. 
it does... I genuinely can't tell if it's speeding up. That was close. The platforms are disappearing much faster. Oh, it's becoming buildings. So, like... These are all pieces of a building now. For a second, I thought it was a ship. Like, in the last one, I thought it was a ship. But these are all... This is, this is a building. They bound me here with coarse moorings. And when I roared and thrashed and raved, they only tightened the bonds. Brutish methods. But, as I came to understand, efficacious ones. For while they could not see the raging ocean, with its winds and tempests, and its waves that I was forced to breathe in, leaving me hurt and sickly, they seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to sink. This was a trip I would not survive. So they, br they thought she was a danger her to herself. And so they put her uh, they, they put her in a psych ward. Which is what Overbrook is. Is what I'm assuming. I don't know if autism would hold water then. Because I... The reason why I thought it might be autism was because of uh, being... Like... The fixation on music, um, I thought might be a sign, and the way she talked, the way she, the way she talks, I thought might be a sign. Um, but maybe it is closer to schizophrenia if she was like actually hearing voices and actually like, or maybe it was just really bad depression. I'm not sure. Well, no, because she fought back. I don't know if depression would necessarily make you actively fight back. And I know schizophrenia can sometimes have violent outbursts. So may maybe? I'm not sure. Like, I'm just going off my limited knowledge on, like, dif the different um, mental conditions. And trying to interpret uh, her like a version of events through her through her lens and through her dialogue. So maybe it was different stages. So maybe the last one it was a ship. Is to like be some symbolic of her like floating, but now oh whoa okay. Hang on. Need to be care quick. I can't be quick. Okay. So, maybe... Eve, can I do this? Nope. No! No, I'm floating back down. Okay. <laughs> Here, hang on. Let me try something. There we go. Oh my goodness. Does, it, does this have any effect? No. Okay. So, but now that it's a building, like, now that she's in Overbrook, this is what she sees. Things have changed now. The new caretakers, they are... different. Nary a sound. They move graciously. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. So this is talking about the present. They secretly busy themselves around me unseen army of shades and ghostly servants always making sure that I never go wanting well that's good right you're getting treated you are getting what you need like I think she's talking about the work that I put in like the people I've brought to make sure that she's take that she's cared for. Oh, what the heck? What was that? Oh, 
Hold on. There we go. Oh, no! <laughs> Shoot. Maybe if I jump from here. There we go. Oh, I almost did it again. <laughs> and then, Stella, there is you. Moorings, but of a different kind. You are the only one who understands the sea. That it is not something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures. Overwhelming in their otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore this strange world with me. An anchor, a buoy, and a lifeline all at once. Thank you, Stella. Request completed the Titanic days. Request completed rooms by the sea. Is there anything new here? Oh! The only... Hold on. Yeah, sold out. The only extra strength toffee that cuts through glass, says the vibrant packaging and experience the colors of the cosmos in stick form. So we have more. From the, uh, from the dude. The main worker, or patient? I'm not sure. Wow. I can barely recognize this place. It's a good kind of beige now. It is still just a hospital. And see, I told you that vending machine that was magic or something. I'm happy and all, but it's super creepy. <laughs> what? An all-powerful snack dispenser capable of changing the laws of physics. You don't find that's creepy? You don't find that that's creepy? <laughs> You're right. What am I even saying? That's not possible. I probably just need glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm just blind now. <laughs> Overbrook is just a totally normal hospital and I can't see it properly. I won't question it any longer then. Thank you, I suppose. Quest completed a helpful spending spree. Well... There is one more thing in the vending machine that I can buy. So let's go ahead and buy this. Oh, are you following me? Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. I was gonna buy that. You stole my precious Muriel Sticky Toffee. It had my name written on it and everything. Just my luck. Half the time I get stuck coming down to the... Half the time they get stuck coming down the machine. Because they're so sticky. Oh, I wasted so much time and effort trying to get the, that delicious toffee. And you just get it on the first try. No fair, give it back. Please, please, please. Listen, we can trade for it, okay? Thank you so much. Muriel's Sticky Toffee is the only thing that soothes my toothaches. Oh. Ah, sweet teeth toffee. Oh, cool. Why was that necessary? <laughs> Experience the colors of the cosmos in stick form. Well, I've officially sold it the vending machine. Thank you. So what did that do? And if I go back up to Daria, I'm guessing I've done, my guess is that I've done everything I can here. Why do I lag? Right there. 
Is it just me, or do I lag in that spot now? I'm not sure. But, um... I wonder if I'm done with everything, and then they'll I have to leave and Daria will page me later. Do you have anything to say? You don't. Okay. Well, I guess we... Yeah, just leave. Take a look at Edgeboro Lane. Alright, yeah, let's uh, do some other quests. Ah, almost. So close. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.